supported by Bank of America. Hello, my name is Shanita Snee and I'm a club director of the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Houston. For today, It's Lit Tuesday, I have two amazing special guests. Hey guys. Hey guys, my name is Carlos. I'm Nicole and welcome to this week's edition of Page Turners. Today's featured drama is The Mystery of the Missing Redemption. Written by the Sheridan Playwrights. Alright guys, let's get to character. Please don't forget to stick around for our Page Turner Weekly Challenge. Page Turner is a program for all club members to enjoy literacy in three easy steps. Watch the weekly Page Turner video on It's Late Tuesdays. Find a book or text that you like and read it. And participate in our Page Turner Weekly Challenge by... You can log on to Bibliomnasium.com Lights. Camera. Action. The Mystery of the Missing Medallion by Sheridan Playwrights. A small village somewhere in time in England. It was dusk. Town people were strolling in town square. Someone bumps Emma from behind. Emma turns around quickly and sees Lucinda disappearing into the night. But Emma, of course, thinks the moving figure is her dear friend. Now, let's go more into the story. Oh, excuse me. Logan? Hmm, he's certainly in a rush. Oh no! My medallion! It's gone! Help! I've been robbed! Help! What's going on? What did you say was stolen, Liz? By whom? It was my necklace. It was very valuable. By whom? I don't know. A man with a green coat and a red hat? Logan? No, not Logan. Chief Donut, arrest this man. He's guilty of robbery. What? That's ridiculous. Emma, you knew I wouldn't do this. See, I told you he was a culprit. Wasn't that a great play? I wonder what would happen next. This week, Paige Trent challenges for you to think about the play we just read and tell us what happened next. This is called an inference. Thanks for joining us again on Page Turners. Make sure to come back next week on It's Lit Tuesday for more literacy fun and for a new challenge. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. As always, readers are leaders.